but can you just tell us a little bit about like what is duckweed where did it come <laughs> from how it was discovered <laughs> like how can we incorporate it where can we find it those type of things yeah so um obviously i own a fitness nutrition brand a plant-based fitness nutrition brand called clean machine because i'm trying to keep people to encourage them to keep this amazing machine that we're born into the human body is clean free of drugs and free of animal products but i know we're under stresses that the human body has never been to we're exposed to chemicals and toxins that we've never been to that are you know in our lifetime created so mm -hmm. i'm like okay we got to go a little bit deeper on the nutrition almost to a therapeutic level to super compensate for some of these negatives that have never been part of the human experience until the last 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. So I started looking for more whole food sources that were uber rich in nutrient density. And I found the best in the world. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And the funny thing is duckweed we've been trying to kill it for the last 50 years as a noxious weed that you know is in lakes and ponds and we've been spraying it and stuff like that and uh, one uh, company was looking at uh, uh, how to you know do it and they were dredging out duckweed and it was growing super rapidly and they're like wow that thing is like almost impossible to kill what's let's take a look at it nutritionally what's let's break it apart and when they found out <laughs> it's the most nutrient rich plant ever discovered on this planet. And they're mm -hmm. like, wow, we shouldn't be tossing this out. We should be eating it. <laughs> wow. Uh, but what's really kind of unique, I mean, it, they found it was one of the fastest growing plants. It doubles its size every 36 hours. It's faster growing than bamboo, which was considered the oh, fastest oh, growing plant in the world. <laughs> um, and they're like, geez. how is it? creating so much nitrogen nitrogen is what creates protein obviously and it needs that to double in its size so it had 45 to 55 percent protein in its whole state that's oh. <laughs> yeah so the reason people do protein powders is because they have to pull out some of the other stuff that's not protein like fiber and omegas and, and all the rest of the stuff, the micronutrients, so that you get more of the protein so that you have a density of protein. Mm. Well, this was so rich in protein, you could eat the, in its whole food state and still be getting 20, 30 grams in, in a serving. And I'm like, wow, wow a whole- What's a food? serving, by the way? What's Sorry. that? About What's a 35 a serving? gram serving. So 35 gram. Just a little scoop. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's uh, that's less than a, a palm size, uh, a powder in your hand. Wow! So that's in a powder dehydrated state. Correct. So they dehydrated okay. and and, and uh, cold pressed and then dehydrated so that it can be served as powder. That way, you can throw it into pancakes or smoothies or sprinkle it on salads or whatever you want to do with it. Wow. And I'm like, all right, so you know, 1100% of vitamin K, I mean, just protein, 90% of your protein, 35% uh, uh, of your omega-3s and a single serving. I mean, it's just like off the charts, <laughs> nutritionally all the way across the board, prebiotic fiber. The WHO called it the most complete food source on the planet. 